Fall is ending and winter is starting in the northern hemisphere. We've got the winter solstice officially December 21st. Of course, that's Tuesday. Got it in central time, 958. That's when the solstice officially begins. And we finally can start winter. Meteorological winter actually started December 1st. Technically, when you look at the data, most of us are colder in December than we are in March. So maybe we should move this, but this is going off the position of the sun. And speaking of the sun, we're going to be getting more daylight. A couple of seconds at first for the next couple of days, uh, starting on the 21st, actually going all the way to Christmas, we start gaining that daylight, but it's going to be so small, it's not going to be noticeable. We don't actually start gaining daylight of a minute or, or two or three minutes a day until we get towards February and March. Of course, the winter solstice were pointed away from the sun in the Northern hemisphere. We've got the red line showing you the equator, the Southern hemisphere, tilted towards the sun. That's why they got their summer. This is why it's warmer towards the south, mainly in South America and Australia, uh, New Zealand, much of the South Pacific too. But starting on the 21st, we start to switch things around. Of course, it's going to take a long time. It takes all the way to June, but we do start that process where the northern hemisphere starts to tilt towards the sun, and then, of course, we'll get warmer and warmer. Now, in the next couple of months, January and February, are still pretty cold. We're still losing more heat than we're gaining in the northern hemisphere. So even though we're getting more daylight, it's still going to be cold. Speaking of cold temperatures, We've got some of it on Christmas Day and Christmas Eve. Let's talk about the white Christmas forecast for 2021. This map across the United States shows the chance Saturday morning, that's Christmas morning, as we're getting up, check the Christmas tree, snow conditions. Anywhere you see the light blue to purple and white, that's where we have those conditions for a white Christmas. Most of the Rockies, especially higher up in elevations, we've got plenty of snow all the way from Washington south into the Sierra Nevadas. And then as you get towards the San Juan Mountains, much of the, the front range, we're going to have that snow. Then towards the north, it's kind of iffy where we're going to get a white Christmas. If you live in North Dakota, we've got a chance, especially from Bismarck north to Minot. But then in, in Minnesota, you've really got to be north of Minneapolis, south of Minneapolis, Rochester. Chances are going to be a lot lower. In the Great Lakes themselves, if you're in the UP of Michigan, you got a good chance, but lower peninsula, it's going to be a lot harder. And then in the Northeast, mainly New England, away from the coast, we've got a good chance of a white Christmas. You see that Vermont, New Hampshire, into Maine. In New York itself, not in New York City, uh, mainly north of Albany, north of Syracuse, maybe towards the Tug Hill Plateau, and then really into the Adirondack Mountains. In the South Central United States, Southeast, no chance. In fact, for this Christmas, we're headed to the 60s and 70s with a lot of sun. It's gonna definitely be a green or brown Christmas in the South.